on hunt for this man. Jeremy Huffman seen here on your screen has been going on for more than 12 hours in Cleveland County. He's accused of leading deputies in a chase across two different counties, firing shots at law enforcement and even firing shots at a school bus with children on board. We've been following since this uh, started yesterday afternoon and Mary Calkins is live in Shelby this morning with the latest on the investigation in Manhunt. Yes, Alex Mary, while the command post here at the sheriff's office has broken down, there are still plenty of law enforcement officers, uh, police officers, as well as sheriff's deputies. They are searching the area. They're patrolling. They're keeping a close eye out for Jeremy Huffman. He's capable of doing anything. I said he needs to dial 911 and <clears throat> surrender immediately. Now we know all of this started around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon when Lincoln County deputies pulled Jeremy Huffman over. His plates came back stolen and when deputies approached, he sped off. Deputies chased him from where highways 18 and 10 cross south to Shelby. Along the way, Huffman started shooting at deputies, at one point even firing at a school bus. A driver and three children were on board. Law enforcement from across the area flooded this area, deploying stop sticks. Once he drove into Shelby, Huffman crashed, jumped out and ran. He was firing again. He left an injured woman in the passenger seat. She was taken into custody. Throughout the afternoon and evening, helicopters searched from the air and officers and deputies searched the ground. So far, they have not caught up with Huffman. We need uh, any type of assistance from your viewers that we can actually get to get this uh, dangerous individual into custody before he hurts someone. Now overnight, we learned new information about Huffman's criminal past, including a stint in prison and several outstanding warrants. We're, digging, we're diving deeper into that coming up in 30 minutes. For now, reporting live in Cleveland County, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side.